In business news, Special Advisor to President Bola Tinubu on Energy, Olu Verhijen, has highlighted the Green Gas Initiative's role in mitigating the impact of fuel subsidy removal. Represented by Eriji Anagurua at a groundbreaking ceremony of Portland Gas Green Park in Lagos, Verhijen expressed the Nigerian government's commitment to promoting cleaner and more efficient energy alternative. Our correspondent Paul George was there. It's a new dawn for Nigerians as captains of industries gathered to witness the unveiling of an innovation, the conversion of compressed natural gas, CNG, to serve as an alternative to auto fuel, petrol or diesel. The special advisor to the president on energy believes that adopting CNG could yield a minimum of 40% savings compared to traditional fuels. The convener, Folajimi Mohammed, clarifies that the cost of converting vehicles from petrol or diesel to compressed natural gas hinges on the engine's capacity. In addition to economic advantages, Mohammed underscored the environmental benefits of CNG, citing reduced greenhouse emissions, lower pollution, and enhanced safety during collisions. This event is not only timely, but dovetails neatly into the president's recently launched Presidential Compressed Natural Gas Initiative. It was launched as part of his commitment to change the transportation landscape, reduce energy cost, stimulate economic growth, and foster a cleaner environment by reducing carbon emissions. With the removal of fuel subsidy right now, uh, we can see that the pricing for CNG is more affordable. When you compare the price of uh, CNG right now, which ranges between 270 300 depending on where you're buying it from, and compared to the cost of petrol, about 600 or diesel at 1000 you can certainly say it's a lot of comparative saving, close to about 56 or 76 percent of saving. But we're going to have less pollution if you use CNG. Thirdly, in terms of safety, it's extremely safe because CNG, which contains methane, uh, it's extremely light and lighter than air. So once it disperses into air, it's gone into air. Also, former Nigerian senator and ambassador to Ghana, Musili Obanikuru, urged the government to encourage more of this innovation for a better future. He spoke alongside the president of Virtual Gas Infrastructure Association of Nigeria, Ubani Nkangineme, and the chairman, Kushofeluka government, Muyashuri Ogunlewe. A car that takes a 40,000 liters of fuel can use a 3,000 watt of gas for the same purpose. So that speaks for itself. I don't think there is any need for me. Apart from the cost, it's also environment friendly. So I think what we are witnessing here today is something uh, salutary. And uh, I just hope and pray that uh, the government will continue to support this initiative. It was my pleasure to admit Jimmy into VGM. And Jimmy has not for one second let us down. I am very happy that we are here today. And I do know that you're going to see the things he has done already. You're also going... If we can make sure that uh, most of our of our um, cars are using gas and fuel. That's what that does. That would also help um, the federal government on this issue of subsidy. If your fuel is um, finishing, you can easily switch to gas. And what that does for us in this country is, um, is clear um, sustainability development that's happening all over the world. Uh, more of this should be encouraged in all, all the states for, for development of the country. Mohammed highlighted that each conversion center could handle around 25 vehicles daily contingent on technician availability. He suggested that establishing a framework for specific car models could expedite the conversion process. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.